Okay. Um, so, hi everybody. Um, my name's Ollie or Oliver Gibson from Northbridge Digital. Uh, we support uh, mainly UK based UK based charities uh, with their with their CRMs. Um, we've been going for about ten years, and I've been involved in C with CV CRM for for longer than that, for, uh, for quite a long time, really. Um, William asked me if I'd talk today because we've been doing some work um, for CVCRM effectively or you know, for, for within the community um, and it's, it's a we really we're doing something where we are extending search kit so uh, I'll, I'll just talk about it for a while and then we'll look at a few examples as well um, so um, I guess the this came out of uh, a developer conference that we had sprint that we had in Manchester and it struck me that when people are installing search kit in CVCRM I think I think the tool is fantastic but it doesn't really come with any examples out of the box and one of the stated aims of the search kit is it's going to be a, re a replacement tool for re for the, the current reporting function in CVCRM but when you start using CVCRM with reports, there are lots of templates there that are out of the box. So immediately you can see you've got some orientation. You can see what uh, what, what those reports are for. So the, the, the idea was that we would re recreate that in some way. And we would go through the existing CVCRM reports and see which ones could be added in search kit. So um, I've got some links here, uh, if I can find them. But I'll share my screen. So we did some work uh, with Coleman from the core team and it's really up to him. He's he's in, you know he's the person who's in charge of Search Kit ostensibly, I suppose. And um, he's uh, so um, he it's up to him how he wanted to implement this. So he decided that that would be best done as an extension. So we created something called Search Kit Reports. It's not finished yet, I don't think. Um, but he created that you know initial setup for us. Now, uh, what we then did was we went to, we looked at all the existing reports that come with CBCRM. <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a cough. And we also looked at something called the extended reports as well. So these are all the ones we tried. We tried quite a few. Some we got stuck on. Some we gave up on. But the idea was to try and do as many as possible. Um, we also kept notes on them. There's more notes in this somewhere. And because what we thought is, in the future, someone else might want to have a go at this. Someone else might want. You know, it's just quite often what happens. We'll do some now. Two or three years' time, someone will go, you didn't do a great job there. That could be a lot better. And then they'll start to add some more. So uh, we've, so with that in mind, we've actually kept notes uh, which would aid someone else if they were doing it in the future. We, we, no, we might do some more work on it in the future. I don't know. So this is a list of all the reports that come out of the box. Now, I did have an issue because I was going to use... Um, the CVCRM sandbox and I'd loaded loads of stuff up on there, but it's been not available. So I've had to use another demo site instead, um, which I've used another one now. So for those of you who don't really know what I mean by this, so I might, you know, if, as a fact, I suppose, if you, if you aren't very familiar with CVCRM, you might think so far, this guy's just been talking total nonsense. What does he mean by search kit, search kits and template reports and so on? So I'll, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit, just a little bit more. So when you install CVCRM, 
uh, this is the demo site there's nothing on it but nonsense sample data it comes with a whole bunch of report templates so there we've broken down into some to do with uh, contacts some to do with activities some to do with payments memberships and so on events uh, some of the language used in the original ones is a bit weird uh, for example constituent reports well that's you know there's no rhyme or reason why it's called the constituent report it should be called a contact report it's just that whoever whoever created that in the system 15 years ago that's what they called it and it's stuck for all this time so when you click on each one of these if for example we said um activity details report it gives you a whole bunch of options and you click some results now what we wanted to do was basically recreate this but in search kit that was our idea um the issue we had or one issue we had is the restriction that coleman put upon us when we were doing this so um this is so this one looking at here is the original report system and all those reports are a, a hard coded template that you use then use to create further reports the big change the change with search kit is that search kit as well as doing some other functions in the crm will be a report builder that can do all of those things or, or most of those things that they're all that those hard coded reports can do and a lot more so it will be much more flexible the problem with the built-in reports out the box reports is that they are very siloed they are only they only really let you look at one singular set of uh, information within within the CRM. search kit is much more flexible than that so the, for those of you who do know about search kit, the restriction that was put upon us was that when we created one, we, we were allowed to, we were allowed to create an initial search, let's say, but we were not allowed to add tables, lists, and grids. And what that means um, is that we can do something where we can say, for example, we can say, I want to have activities, of a certain type. I want to have a list of meetings, and you know, I can add something called transformations, which I'll explain afterwards. And I could also say uh, I want to include some fields, so I might have the date of the activity, and I might have the subject line, for example. I can put in a few things like that. Some of the core fields. And I could add, I can add some filters, you know. So, for example, I might say, "Is this in trash? Yes or no?" For example. But I can't. What I can't do is things like put them in a certain order, or rewrite the name of the field, or, or all the things that you would be able to do if you added if you added the what what search kit calls a display so when you add a display it gives you a whole bunch of extra options and that's where actually we could have made it much more like a completed report i suppose so what this meant because we were restricted to our to the to, to the composing of search anyway composing of a search and not a display it meant that actually when we went to do some of when we went to through the reports and tried to recreate them, some of them, it just was not going to make sense. What we could do would what we could do would not take take it much, make it match enough the original report to have any meaning whatsoever. So that was that was the limitations we were working under. Now, let's look at a few. I've got a few examples which I, I, I quickly loaded up um, onto here, onto this site. Um, so the extension is not available yet. So instead, what I've done is I've just I've just picked picked a few out of the list. And um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll do side by side comparisons. 
we'll look at we'll look at the one we've created and we'll look at the original one and we'll just start with sim like a simple one i think okay, so this is one called an out of the box one called event income summary I run our search here. You see, we get something. It should be the same. I think it might not be quite the same. So, in some ways, we tried to make where we where we thought there was any issues with the original ones, we tried to adjust them as well. But you can see what we've done. We've um, effectively set applied a set of some settings to the search kit to try and come up with. This effectively the same result as you would find here. How many people are booked on something with a total income? But this, we've got a restriction. So in the original one, which is hard coded, they've made it so the second, the third column is, the third column is how many people are of a certain status. And the fourth, the fourth column is a whole other, a whole other set of people with a, diff with a different status. So it's the, it's the attendees and the non-attendees, I suppose you might say. In SearchKit, we can't do that because we can only, we, we're limited, like I said, we're limited. So all we could do is instead come up with the count and filter on attending, attending only, basically. So it's not quite the same, but it's close enough. But if we thought about it from the principle of People who don't, who don't know how to use SearchKit at all, having some examples like this that will do things like count things, sum them, put them in a list, and it gives it, it gives it, and they can relate what they what they can they can relate what they're seeing at the top of the screen, at the settings down to the results. That in itself is quite useful because for someone who's not used a, a sort of a SQL search builder like this before, it can be quite an intimidating thing, I think. And and I would definitely say actually that one of the things that we need to do as 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 CVCRM is to improve the usability of this search. So if it's going to well, if it's going to truly replace the built-in reports, the usability of this screen will need to, will need to be improved a bit. Um, so that's one we did. Uh, I've got I, I, I'll probably we'll probably look at like four or something. I'll just show you some of the examples. Uh, and I've kind of tried to choose some of the easier ones as well. The ones that were fairly torturous. I've not. I won't bother showing you. I don't think. As this will be an original one. Activity summary. Now oh, that's about as easy as you get. Oh, oh it's, mm, well, okay. It's got yeah. It's got a count. How many of each type of activity are there in the system? So we should have something similar coming up here. Now, the way we're doing that, for those of you who don't know SearchKit very well, is we're putting the fields in, but we're putting a, a, what he calls a transformation on, on that column, effectively. If you were adding the a display, you can do you can do more of that type of thing. But that's how we're doing it. So we would have a sum that this oh yeah so this is this would this would go through and it would sum up all the minutes found then it would also sum up the somehow how many meetings there are so you know it's kind of a there they are really useful tools in search kit effectively uh, i'll do another one This would be an original called relationships. Now, some of these, what I found when we're doing these, and we spent, I spent more hours looking at reports, at the looking at these reports with, well, I guess, I guess as an implementer, with the way I use reports is you think we've got a problem to solve. How can I get, how can I solve this problem as quickly as possible and get on screen what I want someone to see? Um, but for years, We've known that the built-in hard-coded reports, you know, haven't really been that fit for purpose, perhaps. But it's also it's only when spending a few quite a few hours looking at them like this, and, and looking at each one individually, that you're looking at them and thinking, so what? Some of these, it's not really. Although we've recreated it, 
it's not massively clear what its actual purpose would be. Some are less useful than this one, even. You know, so this this one purely lists all the relationships. So I think we've done something similar. Yeah, but basically, we, we've whether we like them or not, if we could recreate it, we've that we've, we have done. And one thing that was that's good is that we really know SearchKit much better as well, because this is the kind of things that are quite you're getting into the you know when you're talking about the orientations of relationships. So if you're getting into quite the I would say the fiddly side of search kit to make that some of these work. Some of these, some of these weren't. I didn't do all these. My colleague Chris did it, and he doesn't know search kit brilliantly. And I think he he found it quite challenging to do some of this. Um, uh, I've got another one here. So, uh, like I said, I'd be, I would have had all had had these loaded up a bit better, but um, there's an issue issue with. Uh, uh, the master copy of the site, uh, the sandbox, and I couldn't get to it. So, um, am I the right one there? Activity details, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty easy, isn't it? So this one is just saying list all the activities from this year. Again, you could you could argue is that is that a great report? I don't know, but we. We, we've um, we, we we know we added it and we got it working. So uh, oh, there's another one here. I'm just probably just do probably just do two more just to show you. Just I want to give you flavour just to the kind of things that we've been doing. So these will become the sort of sample out of the box systems really. Um, oh, top donors. Okay, yeah. So that's quite that top donors is quite a reasonable one to have. Uh, so this is the original one. Uh, in no, it's seemingly in no particular order, which is a bit weird. Show show me contacts and their I've, I've aggregated the amount, donation, and average amount. Now, have I, did we manage to do that fully? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay. Right. So it's along the same lines, isn't it? So let's show a list of everyone who's ever made a donation. Um, we might have some contribution, actually, we have. And show the sum, number, number and average. And... Again, we'll have used the transformations for that. Um, it's got one left to show you. A personal campaign. Yeah, this was a bit of a tricky one. I seem to remember. So, personal campaign page summary. Again, we did some of these. And we did some of these knowing, I think, that personal campaign pages are not particularly used. Um, you know, I, I, we might have used them twice in a decade or something, you know, but because it was there, we, we did our best to get it working. And it felt, some of these felt like a bit of an exercise in understanding the connections between a bit of the system you don't know very well, um, but it seemed to work. 5,262, 5,260. Yeah, so, you know, that's kind of, we're getting the same the same kind of data. Um, what we can't do is things like most recent contribution because that will be, some of those, some of these things, just because of the way search kit works, that's, I don't, I, I, like, I, I'm not, well, I'm not saying for 100% sure, but I don't believe that we'd be able to get that, that in very easily, I don't think. Well, especially in the way that we did it. Maybe if we added, if we, if we could put, put some more displays in, I think. But um, so, ah, yeah, I've got, oh, oh there's one more actually. Uh, no. Ah, yes, yeah, so there's some we found where we look at them and we were thinking, we couldn't quite, even though they've been in, they've been in, they've been included in the system for a long time, and 
but we weren't convinced that they're actually of any practical use whatsoever really that's that's the way we thought about it and especially uh, where um and there's one, one another final one here as well that we thought was a bit of a an oddity Ah, now this is the kind of thing that I think will be very difficult to recreate because it's got things in here like look back over the last year and oh no, look back over two different time periods and do comparisons. Now that, oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this one, I think is uh, I didn't look into it too much I would just yeah but I, I think it's probably really hard coded where you, you specify two different data ranges and then it just kind of it just kind of display based upon those that kind of thing probably also would not be possible in search kit and a lot of the when we when we looked quite a number of the extended reports also fitted into that category they do they just they were doing something that's to that had some kind of specialist kind of code in it, special code in it that was actually going taking it beyond just a simple listing and, and filtering kind of job, I suppose. Um, we still got some more to do. So um, we couldn't do some of them because it turned out um, well the mailing the mailing ones. So when you look at reports, it's out of the box, there are these mailing ones like this. But it was a useful exercise because when we looked in search kit it wasn't possible at all like none of it was possible and it turned out that the api was incomplete and uh, so therefore coleman has gone off and he's added he's added some elements to the api and at some later date we'll we'll put these in as well so that was quite useful um overall we put i've put 22 in i think altogether um, into the, um, mm, I might think, yeah, merge 22, yeah, or maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe more, yeah, and um, I think we'll end up with about 30, which I think, you know, is, is, is for someone who's installing search kit, if you get the examples, <laughs> and uh, what is the part of the reason this hasn't won't appear for a little while yet is because what it's has done is this it's actually kicked off a discussion about how these should appear well i didn't kick it off coleman did about about how these should actually appear in search kit because when we when we look at search kit It's got the it's got the package searches and then the custom searches and and I think the argument is it is is does, should this appear within the current framework or should it have a new kind of new kind of section called templates basically and that you would you couldn't edit a template I guess the principle is you couldn't edit a template but you could copy it and start your own effectively I think that'll be but there's a bit of discussion about what's the best way to do that or not uh, and you know quite a few people that are getting involved in that. Um, ideally, uh, it would have been nice to have more time to spend on it and to really think about what those reports are, because I think what happened originally is as CVCRM was, was initially developed all those years ago, every time a new feature was developed, a report was created to go with it. And, um, and it kind of perhaps a kind of kind of kind of quite haphazard kind of way, um, but it would have been it would be nice. We could still do it. We, we could still go back and really think about what those are. And it'd be nice for me to add to it as well, so that they also included displays and were a bit more functional. And perhaps had some help text on the screen and so on, because all that is isn't possible, you know, at the moment with what we've done. And um, perhaps do some kind of gap analysis, you know. So. What we know, thinking about the way we know people use the system, what would be the top twenty reports that everyone would want, and that, and that we actually produce them in search kit in a really meaningful way, and so that is something still we can we can do and add to in the future. I think. 
Um, so that's uh, what we've been working on. It's been kind of interesting to do. Uh, I'll stop. I'll stop sharing. Um, uh, William, would, at this point, would you normally stop recording or you keep recording on? I don't know. Um, I mean, I think it might be helpful to keep some of the question and answers um, on the recording because that it might be interesting for other people. Um, but we, once we get into the more informal stuff, we can turn the recording off. In that case, can I ask a question then? This isn't normally the way it works, is it? Can I ask a question uh, Go for it. to Karund? Karund yeah. might be. Hey, Karund. Yeah, go ahead. Because you, you might know how those original reports were created. Were they, were they done in a kind of informal, as, as the system was, you know, created type way, ad hoc type way? Yes. Uh... I, I think initially uh, we did some sort of uh, what is it, some sort of uh, brainstorming about what kind of reports we looked at some of the various other reporting systems and spoke to few uh, non-profit that were in our network during that time or people who are using CV and got thoughts from them like which are the useful ones like a lot of the specifically a lot of contribution report, reports like that cyberned, liberned, and all those things. Those terms sound so weird <laughs> this year, but not last year. All those terms yeah. were more of a came from people who actually were measuring like contributions and everything. So that's the way. It, so that base was formed by that thing, and then later on, as you said, like oh, we added a new events module, or uh, whichever other module. Then oh, which other report that made sense? So those were added to it. And as it progressed, it just kept adding to it. So that's how it was all started. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and what, you know, when I said, because um, I think you know better than, you know better than anyone else on the call, but it, when I said about um, that some of them would be almost impossible to cre recreate in search kit, do you think, did, you, did that make sense? It, it means uh, some of them would be trickier if I had to guess, because uh, the the only reason I'm saying it uh, because we have used like search uh, search kit currently very extensively for some of the specifically if we are doing some of the interesting stuff with relationships, then it's because search kit tried to do a lot of generic stuff, I mean, try to generalize the stuff. But some of the reports, they are kind of have their custom SQL because to optimize the performance. And search kit may or may not reach that level because it's you can get to a certain extent when you have a generic tool to create a query. But when you really want to do some sort of a higher optimization, may or may not be able to use directly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. but but such kit has like done really good in terms of at least creating the basic structure to it. But when it comes to super complex, currently there are some limitations. But I think the uh, core team is working on it. So hopefully, they it will get better as we move on. I think in terms of of doing a project like this to to a bigger degree, I think it'd be. I think it'd be brilliant where just, I'm all about usability, I think. And if someone installs the CRM, search kit's already on, and it goes, oh, by the way, here's some fantastic examples, and here's how to use them. That's the kind of thing we should be aiming for. But it's actually not a small job. It, just doing what we did took about 25 hours, I think. And if you look at the output, you'd think, you could have done that a lot quicker. Why, why did it take you so long? You could have done that really quickly. But it's the picking through each one and trying it and having a failure and going back and then can you, you know, asking someone else to help. It just takes, it yeah. just takes quite a lot of time yeah. to do, I think. Yeah. Especially with all the, yeah, we probably spent more time on the ones we couldn't do than the ones we could do. Almost. Yeah. 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 And and just, just to give you some uh, uh, slightly uh, 
more context like uh, the initial thought of like all the reporting in cv was not to have any sort of a reporting at all in cv and initially there was something like bert BIRT, which is similar to jasper reports and initial cv uh, shipped with some standard templates which you could import in your whichever external party and all the report which exists currently it just came about that some people really wanted without any external stuff these are the standard reports that people wanted and it just came around with that but i i i i'm not sure like whether if search kit is going to solve all the reporting problems because i think reporting itself is a bigger thing each organization takes the data or thinks about the data slightly different than others and in order to have a sort of a holistic reporting would be a bit challenging or would be a bit difficult to come up but just to replace current reports with the uh with the with the search kit might be feasible but if you take a bigger if you think of a bigger picture does search kit will layer might be useful for replacing entire reporting from a, like for people to actually dig the data and get specific analysis might be a different altogether because reporting itself is a whole new software people have implemented and i'm not sure whether will reach to that level or cv will reach to that level or effort in that direction at all i'd like to think it could having tried this i like to think it could fulfill most people's needs yeah and especially um so i know there's uh hopefully going to be chart charts added to search kit as well yeah. charting tool and that would really make a difference because then you could have example you know people love people love charts far more than they love a table you know and if you could have that in as, as some template as templated that would that would really that would be a, a big improvement over what's there yeah over the last few years yeah. i think that's what is there in current that's the other part which i was coming to in the current reports you could display some of the time as some of the reports as a chart like a pie chart or whatever bar chart so that something is the current limitations uh, when we are trying to migrate to such kit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, thanks, Kong. Has, yeah, um, uh, has anyone else got any? What, well, what's your normal procedure here, William? Does, that, does so anyone the, else have any questions? Uh, there's a there's a few questions that have been put in the shared Google oh. Doc that I shared the link to earlier. Um, so one, one of these was about where's the best place to find information about SearchKit and uh, tutorials. Uh, so I uh, I can put it in the chat. In, I'll put it in the chat. There is a SearchKit user documentation, which I will get now. Uh, hmm. We can add that later if you. No, I'm, just, I'm just looking whether it's the right thing before I put it in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And there's there's also some more general resources in the shared document. I'll just share a link to that again, just in case anyone hasn't got that. Put that in the chat. And the other, uh, another question was what, what your future plans are for this extension. Is it something that's going to be included in core? That I would say is, out, is above my pay grade. I think not that I've got a paid way for this, but um, I think what will happen is it will come shipped with core, but then it will be optional whether you turn it on or not. But at some point, it would probably make sense 
for, especially if charting was included and this was and then this included charts it would make sense for that to also when you turn search kit on that this is also or, or at least it asks you would you like the sample the sample um, extension turned on at the same time um, which is effectively what what used to happen when people used to install cbcrm itself via the via you know via url which some people might do still yeah, i'm sure it used to ask on screen would you like the sample data loaded and it's effectively along the same lines as that i think brilliant yeah i think that would be a really useful resource so i hope that is included soon i think search kit is going to be made is going to be enabled by default from the next version as i understand yeah. it yeah i was about to say that. yeah yeah great and there, there was another question about so you talked about restricting um what you could do so you couldn't use search kit displays um but it wasn't clear why you couldn't do that so was there a rationale for that <clears throat> well uh if coleman was here he would have a full and clear explanation as to why um i however don't <laughs> he just told me we couldn't that's all um i'd um Maybe it's because he had it in mind that they would he would he would be adding this new template feature and maybe displays aren't part of that. Maybe it's only the, just the core as a search is you know the search itself without any displays. Maybe that's the restriction. But I, I genuinely don't know. Um, I've got a feeling that it might be something we would be able to add to later. Then. Okay, great. Did anyone else have any questions? Feel free to. Um, turn on your audio and or video if you want. I go audio if that's all right, Ollie. Um, no. Would you be able to share a couple of the ones you are still working on or the ones that you would really quite like to see if they can come into Form Builder? Sorry, Search Kid, and then possibly Form Builder if Coleman allows. So, Rebecca, so we saying, um, would I be able to share the list? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You know, whether you had like a top 10 of reports to tackle or top 20, uh, which ones? Well, we didn't, we didn't really have a priority order like that. Um, it was, it was, yeah, I would, I think we, I suppose we did try to pick, I did try to where, where, where we, I thought ones were probably quite well used. We perhaps focus on them more when it, when they were difficult. Some of the others we just kind of gave up on, I suppose. I think. Um, what I don't know is whether anyone else in the community would be interested in trying to attempt some of the others. I guess that's something I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, well, that's why I'm asking because I I I quite happily would. You know, I, I mean, don't don't send just like the the really ridiculously complicated ones. But if there's, you know, if there's some to pick from. Yeah, it's not. Uh, what others, shall I just share that? Shall I just share that with you? It's, it's, our, it's one of our internal documents, but shall I just share that with you? After? Yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Thanks. Thank you. And how can other people get involved if they would like to get involved? Yeah, this kind of... Um, Makes me feel like it'd be a good blog post or something, or wouldn't it say here's and these are and, and saying the, uh, these are the ones we haven't done yet, and and this is where you can upload them. There's a little bit of when you upload them. There's a little bit of so in search kit. If that's like I could show you this actually. So this is kind of interesting. Um, when you are in search kit, I can just go back. There isn't X. So, so I'm in the search kit page. We've got all the, all the custom searches. So that's what we've done. We've added them as custom searches and then you can export them. But I think there's a, um, we've, we, this, this, this export will let you swap them from one system to another and paste, paste them, import them into another one. Oh, and it's, but then for this purpose, it's more that we're using the API Explorer to do this. And then we also, um, when we do that, 
Um, in fact, it says it here actually on screen. It says this action generates an exportable array suitable for use in an MGD PHP file, which is what we, we were creating. Uh, but there was a bit of, um, it's one of the situations where Coleman said, do the export, but then he also said, oh, by the way, here's like the six things you need to do before you can actually upload it. Yeah. So, um, but I think, so I think if we were going to ask other people to help, we need to just, I need to just think about what's the best process for that, where we don't want people uploading things and not work and then people feel this disheartened and so on. So um, but it's, but it's a bit, I think it's something along those lines would be, would be interesting, I think. Uh, it's funny, I, I don't, I genuinely don't know if, I, uh, Rebecca said she'd do, do some, but I, don't, I genuinely don't know how many people would be interested um, in trying. There's at least one. Um, um, you don't know till you ask. So I don't know till you ask, that's right, yeah. yeah, yeah I think a blog post would be good. Yeah. yeah and there was another question in the document about um, do you think that SearchKit can do anything that Drupal views can do? Well, I think it's a complete, in my mind, I, I, I've been using Drupal views for a long time. And in my mind, well, they're both, they're both a, you know, in the basics of it, they're both a, a sort of, you know, a, a SQL search builder, aren't they? So both are similar you know, So when I'm using SearchKit, I tend to think of it in those terms. I'm adding my fields, I'm adding my filters, um, you know, I'm adding my, you know, I'm creating a URL for it. And, you know, and um, I would say at the moment, there are things that SearchKit can do that Drupal views can't do and vice versa as well. Um, so for example, the way SearchKit handles aggregation and um, the way it says, if, if something's of a certain value, make it this color, you, you can do some of that. You can do those things in Drupal views. It's quite hard to do, quite hard to, to do those things. But in SearchKit, they're kind of they're built-in features, which is great. Um, what Drupal views is what Drupal views can do, which is better, I think, is you can do complex, really quite complicated things where you would draw in information from other views and then do an analysis and say, you know, if if it says this person's got more than five payments display this on screen and, and you know and those things those kind of things will be quite hard you can do you quite those things will be quite hard to do in search gate or impossible and so, so they both got their advantages, advantages i would say great thanks ollie were there any other questions I can see that someone's typing in a new one in the document. It says, in terms of the user experience for new users, maybe it's better to have maximum five to 10 average use case templates, fairly simple ones. I, I can see what you're saying. Uh, I think it's better to have more because, or because some of these will only appear if that particular component is turned on in the system. So in, C in CVCRM terminology, when you say a component, that means you know uh, an events, membership cases, contrib contributions, like payments. So what the package manager, I suppose we'll do with in SearchKit is that um, it will check to see if that component is turned on. So you would you would only see the the um, the templates that were relevant to your install components anyway. So I think there's a risk that if you did it, if you had to it down to that number, that actually they might, if they haven't got payments turned on the memberships, actually they might not see 10 or five, they might only see two. So I think um, the way we've done it kind of kind of works okay, I think. And I think there's a fair spread across the different components as well. We tried to make sure there was some for each part of the system. Great, thanks, Ollie. Um, are there any other questions? Okay. Um, if not, I suggest we turn the video off now and we can have a more informal chat about other things, CVCRM.